How is everyone doing today? And welcome back to another vlog. Today we're going to be doing a vlog on coffee because I love coffee and today I made a pot of Zavita coffee. You guys all know how I love Zavita coffee and you guys can love Zavita coffee as much as I do by using my promo link. Zavita gave me a link to give my viewers 25% off your entire order. So definitely get your coffee from Zavita. Today I made a pot of the Royal Caramel, which was really good, tasted amazing. Add some International Delight Caramel Waffle Cookie Creamer and you got a delicious tasting coffee. So I still have some in here. So we're gonna pour ourselves a cup again and we're gonna try it. Coffee is so good. It definitely has that nice rich taste of caramel. The coffee isn't overly strong, which I like. I like a nice medium roast coffee and this delivered everything I would expect and a great tasting coffee. Zavita has many flavors and I definitely recommend you guys to go to their website, check out some of their flavors and get yourself some coffee. They have all sorts of great things. Recently I went to Walmart and I picked up some Zavita, some Nespresso pods for my Nespresso machine so I can make some espresso using Zavita. So this is like my espresso box. I just used a shoe box to put all my espresso in. So I got most of these on Amazon. I got this one at Walmart, the Starbucks, the Blonde Espresso. I got that one at Walmart as well. I got this one and this one, and I got this one also. These three I got from Amazon. So I've tried this one already. This one's really good from Tim Hortons. I got the Starbucks Smooth Caramel, which is really good as well. I got this, I'm not even sure how to pronounce the name Lavanza. I think that's how it's pronounced. But I got this one from Amazon because I really liked this one. So I figured I'd give this one a try. And I got Zavita Creme Brulee. So maybe what we'll do is we'll add a shot of a uh, Creme Brulee rich and creamy espresso in my Zavita Caramel coffee. So maybe that's what we'll do to add a little flavor. So here's my Nespresso machine. I'm just letting it heat up. I'm gonna put the pod, the Zavita pod. It says Zavita on it. I think that's how, yep, Zavita. Put it in here. I'm gonna wait until it gets heat up. I'll heat up now. So now we're gonna pour our espresso shot into our little container. I got one of these metal, I'm not even sure, it's a metal cup to pour my espresso in. So we'll do this, okay, pour it under. We're just gonna do a single shot. And look at that, Zavita Creme Brulee Espresso. And it smells really good too. Now I'm gonna pour my coffee into my mug, my CB12 vlog, or my CB12 review mug. I'm just gonna pour a little because we got that shot of espresso. So we'll do that way. Usually what I do is with the leftover coffee, I just put them, I just let it cool down and then I'll put it in the fridge and I'll make iced coffee the next day. So I got my shot of the Zavita espresso, the creme brulee, put that in there. So now we're gonna grab some creamer because Zavita don't have any caramel coffee creamer, but they do have like the caramel syrup, like the sugar-free syrup. So since we don't have any creamer from Zvita, we're gonna use the second best thing, International Delight, the caramel waffle cookie. Caramel would probably be good and some uh, caramel coffee, so we're gonna do that. Add some caramel creamer. Okay, so let's add some creamer. I think we need more. <laughs> I like this uh, creamer. Tastes so good in any sort of caramel coffee. Okay, so let's try this now. Okay, so now let's try this. Caramel Royale coffee with the shot of the Zavita Creme Brulee Espresso. 
So cheers. Oh, that's so good. You definitely get the flavor of that creme brulee espresso. You get that creaminess, and then you get the caramel taste. You get caramel pretty much in everything. The creamer, the coffee. And the coffee, it's not like a super bold flavor. It just has a nice medium roast coffee flavor, which is really good. You definitely get the notes of the caramel, the creme brulee. It has a nice little creamy and smooth texture. Really good. If you guys ever get the chance to try Zavita, try it. Use my promo link. Save me 25% off your entire order. Here's tonight's dinner. We got roast beef, mashed potatoes, roasted broccoli, and veggies with some gravy. So it is 10.40 right now, and it's been a very long day. Dinner was amazing. Roast beef, mashed potatoes, roasted broccoli, and veggies with gravy, of course. And this afternoon, I did a lot of editing again. <laughs> it's been a very editing days. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things are going to happen in the next couple of days. A lot of reviews that you guys will be totally surprised by. I do hope you guys enjoyed today's bonus extra video on CB12 reviews. It's on the Munch Pack that John Bradley and Anna Reams had gifted me, which I'm still super thankful and super grateful for everything that you guys have done. So recently, let's see if we can get a little bit of lighting. Yeah, maybe I'll put the phone on the tripod right here. So I was walking through the aisles of the noodles, the Mr. Noodles, the ramen noodles at Superstore the other day. And I love going through that section because I always find something new or at least something that did exist before. I just never seen it. Well, I seen this and it kind of caught my eye. Kind of reminds me of like the noodle cups, like the uh, Mr. Noodle noodle cups. But this one kind of caught my eye for the simple fact there's like a tomato on the picture. So I started reading the actual, you know, cup and it says pasta, tomatoes, mozzarella flavor. And it says shake, add hot water, stir and enjoy. So it's like a pasta cup. So it's not Mr. Noodle or any ramen noodles. It's like, I think kind of looks an Italian because of the colors green, white, and red. So like an Italian sort of cup of noodles. So basically it says you're supposed to shake the cup. So kind of do this and then peel back the lid. So you'd have to peel this back, pour boiling water to fill a line inside the cup, which is approximately 180 mils, and then recover the cup and leave stand for four to five minutes. Stir well and enjoy. So you're supposed to shake it, add it hot water, and then stir it, and then let it sit for four to five minutes, and it becomes like this Mr. Noodle or noodle cup, but like with tomato flavoring and cheese. So I would think this would be good if you were to add some meat to it. Browned up some ground beef, or you browned up some ground chicken. Put this in this after it's cooked, and you'd have yourself a meal, pretty much like a cheap meal. This was only $1.67. So if you get a couple of these, and I did, I did get uh, three or four of them. So for $1.67, and it's 260 calories, two and a half grams of fat with 820 milligrams of sodium and only eight grams of protein. So that's quite good. If you add a little bit of ground beef, you could boost this up to a great protein, healthy meal. And I mean, like, I know I could see the comments coming saying, you know, this isn't healthy. Uh, it's better if you were to make it yourself, but if you're looking for something quick, easy on the go, I would think this would be a great choice. I'm not even sure how to pronounce this. I would like to pronounce it, but I'm sure I'd probably butcher it. So I could try it. Is it Tuto Bene? I'm not sure if you guys can help me out. That'd be great. So it's like pasta, tomatoes, and mozzarella flavor. So I was thinking maybe I was going to do a review on this and maybe bring in the vlog and try it for you guys on the vlog. Let me know in the comment section below, where do you guys like to see this? On the review channel or the vlog channel? Let me know. I just wanted to share something that I've seen a couple of days ago at the store. That's one thing that I want to do on the vlog channel. If I'm noticing something new at the stores and instead of waiting 
to let you guys know what I think on the review channel. I'll let you guys know in the vlog channel and to let you guys know to stay tuned for a future review. That's what I want to start doing when I go to a store and I see something different. I'll definitely let you guys know in the vlog. This is going to be it for today's vlog. I do hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, sure, it's worth it to see a thumbs up and subscribe. Definitely ring that bell notification so that way you never miss a vlog. Please consider following me on Instagram. That's where I'll let you guys know what's coming up next. I do want to thank you very much for watching. Definitely share this vlog with your friends and family. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace out. I